Night William was sitting on his old Aram chair. Lady Margaret was sitting on his knee. My father, she said, would think it a disgrace for to have me get married unto thee. If that be the way, Lady Margaret, he said, if that be the way, said he, for in three weeks time till be all to an end, and my brave royal wedding you shall see. Lady Margaret was sitting on her top room window, and she combing down her yellow long hair. Oh, would she spy, but night will amend his newly wedded wife, and they're gone for to take the fresh air. Then she threw away her ivory combs and tied up her yellow long hair. She threw herself down from her top room window and was never seen there any more. It was at the dead, dead, dead hour of the night when all souls there were asleep. In comes the ghost of Lady Margaret, and she stood by Knight William's bedside. Knight William, Knight William, Knight William, she said, how fast you were asleep. It's now you ring join your newly wedded wife, and you left me all in my winding sheet. Whilst the lily on the rose, all the covering in my clothes, my true love has sent me to sleep. Night will him caught up, and he called his merry men. He called them by one, by twos and threes. He dressed them all up in a scarlet of red, and himself in a suit of green. They rode, they rode to Lady Margaret's house, and tipping so gently at the ring. But none was as ready as Lady Margaret's brother for to go up and let a night will him in. It's often and often I kiss those ruby lips, and it's fondly thou hast kissed mine. But I vow and declare, Lady Margaret, he said, that I never shall kiss any one but thine. Lady Margaret was buried in Lady Mary's church. Night William was buried in a bow, and it's over Lady Margaret they grew a red rose, and it's over night William grew a briar. They grew, they grew for seven long years, until they could not grow no high. They grew, they grew to a true lover's knot, and the red rose covers the briar.